All right, folks, we are going over some example problems similar to the problems you'll see on your chapter one test retake assignment. These are not the exact same problems, but very similar to the problems you'll see on that assignment. And in this video, we're gonna go over equations with variables on both sides. All right, so what we're gonna see in all, both of these problems and all the problems in this section on your, um, on your assignment are that you're gonna have variables on both sides of the equation. And we can't solve an equation that has a variable in two different places. So the first thing we're gonna do in this situation is we need to fix that. We cannot have an R on both sides of my equal sign. Let me draw my wall so I can easily see the two sides. So I need to either get rid of the 4R here or I need to get rid of the 2R here. Now there is no wrong choice here. You can do it either way. You will come up with the same answer either way. So make the choice based on what you feel is gonna work out best for you. Um, I'm gonna choose to go ahead and get rid of this 2R. Now this is a positive 2R here. Just get rid of those lines because we're not dividing. That's a positive 2R. So to get rid of it, I'm gonna go minus 2R. 2R minus 2R should cancel. But you know the rule of algebra. Anything I do on this side, I've gotta do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna go minus 2R here as well. 2R minus 2R, those are gonna cancel. All right, let's see what we have left in our equation here. Negative 14, nothing happened there. We had a 4R minus 2R. 4 minus 2 would be positive 2R. Bringing down the equals, those were gone. We still have a minus 2 left over here. All right, let's annotate as we go on this one. Our first step was to get rid of R's on one side. So we are trying to get our variable on one side only. So what we did was we got rid of 2R. And that got us to here. Now we only have a variable on one side. The only R is over here on the left. So let's go ahead and solve this. I need to get rid of the negative 14 and I need to get rid of this two. I'm gonna save the two for the end because it's multiplying. Let's deal with addition and subtraction first. That's a minus 14, so I can make it go away by going plus 14. But I need to do that on both sides of my equation. Minus 14 plus 14, those are gonna cancel. Now I have 2R, I've got an equals. Negative two plus 14 is positive 12. We are almost there. Just need to get rid of that two. That two is multiplying by the R, so we'll divide by two on both sides. Multiplication and division will cancel and leave us with just one R. Equal sign comes down. Over here I have 12 divided by two, which is six. And I think that my solution is R equals six. I forgot to annotate as I was going, so we'll go back and finish it up. What did we do here? We did plus 14 on both sides. That was to get rid of the negative 14. And in our last step, what were we doing here? We we're dividing by two on both sides. Why? Oh, that was to get rid of the two that was multiplying by the R. So we got rid of two. And that got R by itself. Okay, let's check it though. I'm gonna rewrite my original equation down here and I'll leave out all the R's. So it was a negative 14 plus four R. I'm gonna leave that R out equals. And over here we have two R and minus two. And again, I left all my R's out. In place of those R's, I'm gonna put the value that I think R is, I think it's six. And what we're gonna do now is just simplify both sides of this equals, or both sides of this equation and hope that it comes out to be equal to each other. So over here, let's focus on just one side at a time. 
Over here, I have addition and I have multiplication. Multiplication comes first. 4 times 6 is 24. I still have a negative 14. That was a positive 24. So negative 14 plus 24. Negative 14 plus 24 is 10. All right. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this side also comes out to 10. Uh, again, multiplication before subtraction. So 2 times 6 would come first. That's 12. Bring down the minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10. Hooray! We got the same thing on both sides. That means our solution is correct. All right. Moving on to the next one here. This equation also has a variable on both sides. It has a negative 3x over here, and there's a 6x over here. Before I get forget, let's go ahead and draw that line. So we can't have a variable on both sides of the equation. We need to get rid of one or the other. So should I get rid of the negative 3x or the 6x? There is no wrong answer here, whatever you feel like. I feel like getting rid of the negative because negatives sometimes cause me to make mistakes. So I'm going to get rid of the negative 3x. If you choose to get rid of the negative 6x, you can get the same answer, but your work will look a little bit different. I'm going with the negative 3x. The opposite of minus 3x is plus 3x but I need to do it on both sides. Over here, I'm going to make sure it lines up underneath the x term so that it's lined up with its like term. Those will cancel. That leaves us with just a 16. On this side, we have a 7, and then 6 plus 3, that's 9 x's over here. And now we only have an x on one side of our equation, so we can start solving. So let's work to get this x by itself. I need to get rid of this 7 and this 9. Let's take care of addition and subtraction first. That's a positive 7, so I'm going to do minus 7 on both sides. So what's left over? 16 minus 7 is 9. 7 minus 7, those cancel and go away. 9x left over here. All right, one more step. I need to get this x alone, so that means I need to get rid of that 9. That 9's multiplying, so let's divide on both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1. 9 divided by 9 here, those can cancel. It really is a 1x, and I could write that 1 there, but it's not really needed, so I would usually leave the 1 off of it and just write x. So now I have 1 equal to x, and I think that's my solution, but we'll come back and check in a moment. Let's annotate first. So what did we do in this first step? The whole point here was to get the variable on one side only. We didn't want a variable on both sides, and we chose to get rid of the negative 3x over here. We did that by doing plus 3x on both sides. That got us to this step here. Now we only had an x on one side, so we worked to get that by itself. Next thing we did was minus 7 on both sides. We did that to get rid of the 7. And then in our final step, what did we do? We divided by 9 on both sides because we were trying to get rid of this 9 here. And that got us to an answer of x equals 1, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just do a quick check. So, I'm going to take my original equation and copy it down. I'm just going to leave out all my x's. So, negative 3x plus 16 equals 7 plus 6x. Just left those x's out. And in place of those x's, I'm going to put my x value. I think it's 1. I hope it's 1. So, we'll put that in both spots. And then we'll simplify both sides of our equal. So let's focus on the left-hand side here. Uh, multiplication comes before addition. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 
And then we'll go ahead and take care of the addition. Negative 3 plus 16 is 13. Hopefully we get 13 on the other side too. All right, on this side we have addition and multiplication. Multiplication comes first. 6 times 1 is 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. Those two sides match. That means our solution is correct.